they touch again on the back stretch. Nick Schneider sneaking into the lead in bus 14. By half a bus length, he's your leader. Getting towards the end of the bus race. Oh, they touch again. We got bus parts flying. Welcome to this episode of Pit Talk TV. We had a wild night tonight at the Rockford Speedway. We had several divisions of cars. We finished up with the wild school bus race. And now we're down here in the pits and um, got something really unique I want to bring to you. We see them on a track every once in a while, but we don't really know a whole lot about them. And that's our American Super Cups. I'm here with Mick Ellis. And Mick is the president of American Super Cups. And uh, I noticed you got americansupercups.com on your uh, uh, car. So if anybody really wants to know more, they can go to your website and website see, see more. Yep. So we got Mick down here, and uh, we're going to ask him a couple of questions about Super Cup. So first off, um, it looks like a toy, but it's not a toy, is it? No, absolutely not. Uh, it's got a full, uh, full suspension on the chassis. Uh, and it's definitely, it's literally a half scale. So everything within the car, tubing and everything, is one half of what a normal size car is. Instead of being 16 feet long, it's 8 feet long. Instead of being 8 foot wide, it's 4 foot wide. So basically everything is scaled just like a stock car. So we, we basically copy a stock car. What, what kind of engine? It's got a Honda GX390. Uh, 20 horsepower. Uh, out at this track, we're probably running about 60, 65 miles an hour. Uh, inch and three quarters off the ground. Inch and three quarter off the ground, is that what you just said? Yep. Running 60 mile an hour. Yep. Door to door. Nose to tail. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Is it fun? Oh, it's a lot of fun. So, I mean, you're not a kid. No. But, Far from it. But you have kids. What's the youngest that... We have? start at 10, and then uh, right now are probably in the mid-60s for some of our drivers. We won't go there, but yeah. <laughs> but so. but it, uh, I've seen a couple of drivers use this division as a stepping stone into uh, stock car racing. You yes. know? Um, I've seen a, a couple of them step out of this, so I, I know one stepped out into a late model. Mm -hmm. And um, so this series, do you guys travel? Yeah, we travel uh, basically where Rockford is pretty much we consider our home track. Uh, we do the Dells, uh, Slinger, uh, Golden Sands, Toma. Uh, we kind of select tracks that we like to go try and challenge ourselves, go on different tracks. Depending on where the drivers come from, we try and, uh, okay. you know, but every year it kind of changes a little bit. But yeah, we, we try to stay in the Midwest area. Okay. Um, All right. And uh, tonight we had, what did we have tonight? Uh, 10? We have 11 cars had 11 tonight. 11 cars? Yep. I have uh, currently have 18 registered drivers. They don't all make it. You know, I have drivers from Wisconsin. We got a guy up by Minnesota, uh, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois. You know, so they're all over. So not everybody comes to every race. We kind of scoot around from all over. So, But we try and have around 12 to 15 as our normal car count. That is excellent. Well, it's uh, uh, they're fun to watch. And they're, they're fun to be around. I mean, when you really get up close to them, they're not as big as you think they are. No. Yeah, and uh, then when you see a full-size person get out of one of these, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Max is probably about 6'4", driver height. Um, and then uh, weight-wise, probably 230, 240. Uh, total driver and car has to be 715 pounds. So everybody's on the same level playing field. So if a kid's racing and he's 90 pounds, you got to have the extra weight to get you up to the, so that I way see. we're all the same weight. Okay, well that's excellent. Well, it's a pleasure to get down here and talk with you and hear a little bit more about American Super Cups. And so if you want to know more, go to the website, americansupercups.com and everything will be there for you that you need to know. And uh, hey, thanks a lot, appreciate it. Appreciate All it. right, this was an exciting night. This young man standing right here next to me, not only did he win a heat race, but he won the feature tonight with the American Super Cups. This is Peyton Gladowski, did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, so how, first off, how old are you? 11. What grade are you going into? A six. You're going into sixth grade and you're already racing cars. How long have you been racing Super Cups? Uh, one year. This is my second okay. racing the Mini Cup cars. 
What did you race before that? Uh, Go-karts. Mm -hmm. And okay. then before that, uh, snowmobiles. So you're 11. You've been racing Super Cups a year, so you started out at 10. How long did you race go-karts? Um, five years. So at five years old, you started racing go-karts. And then snowmobiles before that. Yep. So you've been racing a while. Yeah. So you're one of the old timers around this thing. No, not exactly. Tell me a little bit about your car. Well, what, uh, if I didn't know anything about your car, tell me something that, that you find interesting about your car. The motor's in the back. What kind of motor, do you know? A Honda GX390. Okay, and how fast does it go? Uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 ish, yeah. 60, 60, yes, and 100. it goes up. How much does it weigh? Uh, 725 pounds with me in it. You got this thing nailed down because I was just talking with that gentleman over there, and those are all the same uh, answers he gave me. So, was this your first time at Rockford Speedway? Third, third time, but this is the first time that you've had any wins. No, this is my second win here. Okay. I had a win last year here. What kind? Was it a feature win or a heat win? A feature with CSR. Oh, that is so cool. So, how did you come up with the 88? Well, I like Dale Earnhardt Jr. and him. That's so, what I figured. Yeah, so. That's what I figured. So, what do the kids at school say when you, do you talk about racing with them? Not much. Do they even know? Yeah. Yeah? It's like my second life, though. Okay. All right. So where do you want to go from Super Cups? Then I'm going to a Midwest truck, and then hopefully Super Late Model or something, and then NASCAR, hopefully. Wow. Look at you go. I don't know. What do you think about that, Mom? Oh, NASCAR? All the, all the way? All right. So we have another time of jet ski on our hands. Uh, yeah. just, that's excellent. Well, thanks for letting us come down and visit with you. Congratulations on not only a heat win tonight, but a feature win. Mm -hmm. The car looked great. And when you got out of the car, the smile on your face was just huge. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. All right. Will you come back to Rockford Speedway sometime? Yeah. All right. This is Peyton, everybody, our feature winner tonight. Well, you notice this thing standing behind me is not a regular race car. Uh, we had school bus races tonight. I'm with Nick Snyder. Nick won the school bus race tonight. But uh, this isn't all you raced tonight. What what all did you race? Uh, well, ran the bus, obviously. Uh, I also ran my street car, my Cadillac. Uh, got a little too close for comfort. Uh, but all in all, a good time. Made it to the finals. Lost a really cool guy. Got his first win. That was cool. That, uh, yeah, it's special. Yeah, Kyle was... Uh, Wanted to make sure that helmet got in there and uh, nice tribute. So tell me about the different divisions that you race out here. Um, well, uh, I've run Roadrunners, Roadrunner figure eight, Bandit figure eight, Sixers, school buses, spectator drags. Uh, I mean, pretty much any anytime I get a, a car I can get into, I try to run. I almost got to run Vintage Series tonight. Uh, ran into some complications there, but uh, options are definitely endless. So if it it's got wheels and it'll turn over and start, you're down for it. Oh yeah, if, if it runs and drives, I want to drive it. So I know about driving school buses a little bit. Tell me about racing this thing around the track at 22 degree banks. Uh, it was definitely a lot more complicated than I thought at first. It took me about halfway through to figure it out. Uh, in a normal race car, you get in, you turn the wheel about halfway and you're good. In this, you turn halfway and I almost knocked the wall down. So. Then you got to crank it a lot more, and then I'm sliding out of the seat, and I'm holding on outside the window, getting bumped into by the other buses. I mean, it was, it was definitely exciting. You guys were doing a little bumping and banging. You said that uh, most of your windows down the side are gone or shattered? Yeah, the, the window and the, and the door on the sides busted out, hanging, uh, shattered, probably three of them. One's hanging from the roof. It's got a little bit of damage. I'll tell you, when these things uh, hit each other, the sound that they make, I mean, you can hear a, a, a couple of a late models hit each other, and you know you get you know that they've hit. Or you can hear a couple of roadrunners. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, they hit. But when these things hit, it shakes the ground. And the the crowd was on their feet tonight. They they just thought it was great. So, bottom line, did you have fun? Oh yeah, absolute blast. Definitely want to do it again. I, I noticed when you got out, you climbed all the way to the top, 
and uh, the the crowd was just going crazy. I, I've got pictures of you up there. So, uh, well, congratulations on on the win, on the school bus win. Thank it's you. great to get down here and visit with you and and uh, hear a little bit about it. Um, what about school bus figure eight? I definitely want to do it. I got to get the official word from the track, but if they allow me to, I'm going to. Sweet, you heard it. All right, hey. Well, that's it for school bus races. What? My mic? You want me to hand my mic to Terry Gerber? Don't talk or anything. Just give me my mic. All right. Here. It's about time somebody gets a real job. <laughs> Just wanted to sit, uh, tell everybody what we did tonight. Uh, as you all know, last year we did the whole racing for autism thing. Uh, there was a lot of drivers, crew members, uh, fans, sponsors involved in it. We took kids that had autism. We uh, put their handprints on the hood of the car. And tonight we presented that to, to the Deary family to hang up somewhere in the beer garden. And that was a pretty cool thing. That was something that we were going to do from the start of it. And we finally got to do it tonight. And as you can tell, this has been a family event as well as a pretty much a whole track event. Do you want me to hand the mic back to your dad? You want me to hand my mic back to your dad? You know, it was really fun to be a part of the Racing for Autism. We were there when you guys uh, took the car out and had kids put their handprints on the hood and I remember thinking well Terry's driving I hope that hood makes it through the season <laughs> and it did. it did it did and now we're gonna get to see it I heard uh, uh, one of the dairies say they were gonna hang it in the in the beer garden so along with all the other um, nostalgic memorabilia in there so everybody will get a chance to see this superhero hood so really cool everybody racing for autism Hey, we're going to finish off tonight uh, with another unique division here at the Rockford Speedway. This is Joe Darnell. He runs a 21 out of the Vintage Series. And those are cars that are from yesteryear. Um, you know, so tell me about the 21 here. This is a steel-bodied Mustang with a Chevy motor under it. Um, we call this the Northern Outlaw Vintage Series which means there's very few rules. There's no compression limit on the engines. There's no cubic inch limitations. Um, it's more or less a run what you brung under the hood. Um, we, we travel around a little bit. We just came from South Bend a couple of weeks ago. We ran June 23rd out there at South Bend, Indiana. Uh, we usually run a show at Madison once a year. So it's kind of a new club to started last year and kind of getting our feet on the ground here with uh, getting established building up a few, few more cars. We've, we're kind of hurting for cars, and uh, I think it give another year or so. We're getting more interest all the time. People are asking questions about it and talking about building their own car as they see us run. So, um, I imagine uh, you'll run into guys that used to race, yeah. parked their car, been sitting in the garage under a tarp for years, yeah. and it's like, hey, I can bring the old car out. Yeah. You know? uh, Actually, there's, there's a few of these vintage cars that got retired and I call them glorified dust collectors because they've been sitting up on jack stands for a number of years now. And uh, I'm, I'm, we're trying to talk to those guys and say, hey, you know, bring it back out, you know. And a lot of them are up there in age, you know, and uh, they've retired, they've ran their years of racing. And now they've just kind of gone on to other things and the car's just sitting there. And, you know, I'm like, well, put somebody in it, you know. And, yeah. But we've, we've got some guys over there to talk about building from the ground up. Well, they look like a, they look like a lot of fun and it's, for somebody that's been around racetracks for a lot, a lot of years, you see an old style yeah. body come out, and it yeah. takes you back. It takes you back to yeah, um, these are steel body cars. You know, back in the day when I was a kid, as the season went on, they called them walnuts. But all the way down both sides of the car would be hammer marks and guys pounding dents out as the season went on. You know, and now late models are all in fiberglass bodies, and and they crash once, and they take the panel off and pop rivet a new one on there. But I think it's kind of cool seeing the old steel body cars, not necessarily all beat up, but just showing some signs of some, you know, some racing, you know. 
Does that make them, since they're steel, uh, does that make them heavier? A little bit yeah. bulkier, you know. And then we run 10 inch tires. So when you get in the corner, the front tires chatter, you know, and they're, they're in a lot of horsepower with not the best handling characteristics in the world, but they, you know, they're a lot of fun to drive. So I see you got an open trailer. So when this thing's up and you're sitting uh, at a stoplight and you get looks, yeah. you know, people look over there and look at that old race car. At the gas station, you yeah. know, people are looking. It's kind of cool. Somebody's like, uh, I remember seeing a car like that, uh, you know, back when I raced. And yeah, well, that's great. Well, we just want to get down real quick because uh, the Vintage Series is really uh, kind of unique. And it's kind of cool. Saw some uh, great cars tonight. And uh the guys put on a great show tonight and yeah that's what we're really trying to do is just put on a good show yeah. you know uh the crowd was cheering they were loving like, it normally i would have probably just hung out for third place and just rode it out we only had one lap left and then i seen the two guys ahead of me slow up a little bit and i decided to take a shot at it and i went down the bottom and thought i'd be able to you know make a line off the bottom there and then the right rear tire grabbed all of a sudden and sent me around wow. but uh you know it's all for fun, yeah. and thanks for letting us come down and visit yeah. with you. Yeah, thanks, all man. right, thanks. and I hope your series grows a little bit, and uh, people uh, keep showing more and more interest in it, and because uh, yeah, it's really unique. Cool. Thank you. So that's it from the Rockford Speedway. This episode of Pit Talk TV. What a night of racing we had! Thanks for joining us. There you have it.